Hi, my name is Kelsey Martin, and this important video is about discrimination among LGBTQ people. And did you know termination of an employee based on their sexual orientation is legal in 32 states? And up to 43% of LGBTQ people say they've experienced discrimination in the workplace because of their sexual preferences, even though one-fourth of them haven't made their sexual preferences known. This informational video is about how important it is to the LGBTQ community that they have the same fundamental rights just like everyone else and that they're not discriminated against just because they love someone of the same gender or they feel like they've been born in the wrong body. I know from experience because I am gay too and I have been discriminated against just like many other people around the world who are LGBTQ just like me. Today we were talking about three points. The first point is different states with different discrimination laws like South Carolina, Mississippi, Texas, many other states. The second point is discriminatory actions leaving LGBTQ people homeless. And the last point is suicide and murder rates among LGBTQ people. Now that you have an idea where this presentation is going, let's talk about the recent discrimination laws that were enacted in different states. Recently, South Carolina has passed a controversial law that requires transgender people to use the bathroom that corresponds with their gender on their birth certificate, which means South Carolina is one of 32 states that discriminate against transgender people, and only 18 states, plus the District of Columbia, have laws clearly protecting transgender people. And even worse, 8 to 17 percent of gay and transgender workers report being passed over for a job or fired because of their sexual orientation or gender identity. It's sad you can be married one day and fired the next day just because of your sexual orientation. Now here's a map of which states ban on LGBT discrimination in employment. Now that you see some of the different discriminatory laws out there, let's focus on the amount of homeless LGBTQ people there are. LGBTQ people represent up to 40% of all young people experiencing homelessness. One in four LGBTQ youth are more susceptible to being thrown out of their homes by their families just because of their sexual orientation. The physical and mental health issues of the homeless LGBTQ youth are far worse than non-LGBTQ youth. Transitioning from a tough life to a taken life, let's take a moment to talk about the LGBTQ people whose lives were cut short. Homicides of LGBTQ people and HIV-impacted people increased 11% between 2013 and 2014, according to the National Coalition of Anti-Violence Programs. And in recent events, a gunman shot and killed 49 people in an Orlando gay nightclub on June 12th. It is the worst mass shooting to date since Sandy Hook. The Suicide Prevention Resource Center estimated between 30 and 40% of LGBTQ youth have attempted suicide. You can see through the numbers and statistics that the LGBTQ community do not live an easy life. Despite progress in recent years, we still face many day-to-day -day hardships. Given my own sexual orientation, this is a very important issue that I take to heart. Although we have gained the legal right to marry whomever we choose, there is still a lack of legal representation at state government level. Even if we do earn our fundamental rights, there will still be a negative perception of two people of the same sex loving each other. This is why something has to change. The only ones who can fix this is ourselves. If nothing is solved soon, who's to say there wouldn't be another hate crime like Orlando? Thank you for watching. Here are a couple graphs about LGBTQ homelessness and suicides.